sorry. It's just people are. You know what? I think that looks like a good hole. Okay, so it's time to put the intercooler in. I am going to be test fitting this because I really have nothing else to do. And I wanna see how my car looks with an intercooler. So you'll notice that one side is blank. One side stands for flying Miata. I'm not going to use this side because they didn't sponsor my build. So we're going this side. So this intercooler is fantastic quality. You can see the welds. Nice. I do, however, need to clean the inside of this. I'll get to that later for now. What I need to do is mount the top little uh, mounting bracket thing. Okay, so let me get my little impromptu work area. All right, there we go. Look at that. That's a good view. Cool. So it's actually interesting. They have different cutouts. You may be able to see it says with AC, without AC. So we are obviously going to choose the with AC. And then same thing over here. Take your bracket, take your longer bolt. I'm gonna choose with AC, bolt goes in, nut goes on top, and your locking nut goes like that. Uh, and you take your bracket, throw it in there. Thread that bad boy on. There you go. Obviously tying that down, but who's that on the other end of the phone? Didn't hear nothing when I said my hello. Oh well, to hell down we go. So high looking at heaven below. You okay, know so if there's bracket number one. But now we simply pick the side that we want, throw it on like that, take a washer. Also, just kidding, these are backwards, so if you want this facing out, the brackets are going to be closer that way. The next thing to do was disassemble the front of the car so I can actually test fit the intercooler. Okay, so I was able to get it off simply by prying this, and that did work. So uh, if you run into the same issue, I guess, yeah, just just pry it off. You can see how, how much it's stripped. Yeah, look at that guy. So I guess uh, when I put it back on, I'll just zip tie it. It's literally just a better method. <laughs> That right there is the dumbest design thing in, I've, I've ever seen. But what that allows us to do is actually free up all of this room. So that is going to be going back in, but I'm most likely going to be cutting like basically all of it. So Fly Miata actually recommends to clean their intercooler with mineral spirits. This just helps to get any schmutz from the factory out of the intercooler and stay out of your engine. Okay, so as you saw, that was a disaster. Uh, make sure you actually seal it off, not just put the little rubber things on the end. I thought that would be good enough, it was not. <laughs> So I'm sure it's probably clean enough, whatever. Right, so it's time to attempt to mount the intercooler. I waited for all of the mineral spirits to dry, and um, yeah, I really hope that this works. Lord, I need me a break. Okay, so it's the next day. Um, we were actually able to get the intercooler on. I needed Will's help to kind of hold it while I like threaded it in. It's kind of a lot to do all at once. And one thing that I didn't actually realize was the NB2s, the 
Uh, if you remember on the bracket, there was a with AC and without AC. It doesn't actually matter for NB2s. So because of that, I was actually able to get it centered where if you have like an NB1, like the uh, 1998 or 1999 to 2000, you can't actually center it, which is really weird. So it looks really, really good. It looks pretty sick, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I mean, that that looks good to me. It does look a little small, I'm not gonna lie, but I mean, it's definitely adequate. And it'll also be nice. I'll eventually get the radiator in maybe today and um, that'll fill it up and look pretty good. I think once the radiator is like behind it, I think it'll look uh, pretty solid. Yeah. <laughs> What up? I forgot my mask. <laughs> I was gonna go get food. I'm like searching all over the place and I feel like an idiot. <laughs> what do you think of the uh, the intercooler? It's, sick. it's pretty cool. <laughs> really good. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I like how it pokes out like that. Yeah. It's super clean. Yeah. yeah. And it just says I'm fast. <laughs> Okay, so I am on my phone right now because my big camera is too big. So we are looking up into the car. The hood latch is actually right there for orientation. So the first thing I had to do was move this uh, power steering line. So there's a little, there's this guy that's up top. All I did was bend that and then actually move it from the top down. So I was able to push it out, or I guess up. And then with this side, I just unbolted that and left it there. Pretty sure it's fine. It, it's a little odd. Um, there's some contact between this and the metal chassis, but I looked in the Fly Miata video and he did that as well, so I, I think it's fine. And, but yeah, I'm ready to test the intercooler and see if it all fits. Okay, so the intercooler is on. I think in its final position, we have some contact um, on this little tray hitting it. I think that should be fine. Honestly, it doesn't seem like it would be that big of a deal if it's rubbing a little bit. As far as the cuts that they uh, Fly Me Out of told us to make, they're a little bit suspect. That one seems kind of weird to make, but uh, maybe maybe it'll make sense when we put the uh, all the ducting in. It is kind of annoying threading these in so definitely make sure that you have two people to like lift the intercooler and actually be able to thread it yeah so now we are going to test fit the csf radiator this thing looks freaking beautiful it's it's insanely shiny um and it's way thicker than the stock one so we'll see how it fits open eyes i'm gonna let you see this works just like our dreams i'll throw it all away to celebrate one more holiday i'm running to the edge and when i get there best believe that i'm a drunk So there's that little sneak peek of what the car looks like completed. That's all I'm going to give you for now, but I think that looks awesome. Also, I got a new webcam set up. I need to like fix kind of the background, but uh, for now, I think it looks pretty good. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed episode two and I'm looking forward to episode three because that's when we really start diving into the car and start drilling into the oil pan. So... Yeah, it's 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 nuts. <laughs> but anyway, I'll see you guys.